All right, I think we will create, I'm going to create two more sheets in this lesson. We want a cover sheet with some neat 3D stuff. And then we want to create a sheet for our um, sections. So let's go new sheet and pick our same sheet and new sheet. There we go. And this is going to be renamed to be A100. And I'll just call it in a cover sheet. And this one is going to be, I shouldn't rename the other one. Left this one as is. This one is going to be sections. You could call it sections one, two, and three if you're going to have more than one. Now let's make some neat 3D views. So let's do it from our main floor plan. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to turn my cropping off temporarily so I can see where my camera is. If this is on, what will happen is when you create your camera, you're going to pick a point and you're not going to see anything until you actually get within the crop region. I'm going to hit escape on the keyboard. So temporarily turn your cropping off. And let's say, okay, well, we want to have a camera view from, you know, you never want to get too close because it gets to, the angles get too sharp. So you want to be, you know, comfortable distance away. Yeah, that might even be too far. Let's hit escape. Let's go a little closer. About right here. You want, you see how the camera angle just fits right in there. And then we have that. Once you're inside of here, you can pick on something and then like shift middle mouse button. Okay. It's kind of a perspective view. So how do you want this? Do you want to be kind of looking from the top? That might be kind of a cool view. Pick on this edge. Move it around, okay. Not too bad. Turn the cropping off of this 3D view, and we can go in here and see, you know, show me the shaded view of that, or we can also go in and use sketchy lines. Click on here, uh, go to graphic display in this view in particular, and say, okay, well, let's turn some shadows on, and let's, you know, enable squiggly sketchy lines with some extensions. Hit apply and kind of give it a little more of a cartoony effect. Okay. Lighting, background, we don't need to do too much with that. So now we're getting kind of like a, you know, a little more architectural feel, a little bit of kind of ambient shadows. Okay. Let's go back to our main floor. Now let's do another camera view. Let's do a, another camera view. And those camera views are being created down in here. This one's going to be just kind of straight on, but perspective. Okay, and I'm just going to leave it right where it is, you know, 3D view, just like that, click out. Uh, let's go back to our main floor and camera, and let's do one from here and like this. And this time we won't go with the, eh, there's not, that's kind of a boring view, isn't it? Maybe a view like this or something. Give it a bit more jazz. Okay. When we place these on the sheet, they don't have a scale factor. They have a physical crop size. So let's go back to our cover sheet. Those, there's those 3D views that we created. I'm going to place them. Boy, are they ever small, eh? Drag them in, not a problem. Okay. Pick on here, say edit crop size. Now I'm going to say scale them and lock the proportions and make this, you know, 400 millimeters, which is about 16 inches wide, still not even big enough. Let's go 500. Uh, let's keep going. Now that looks good. So we can take that and maybe take that, um, this guy, move these guys out of the way. I'm going to put this kind of in the middle. And again, we can adjust this later. And you know what? This guy, I'm going to go in here and say no title. These don't really need titles. They're just views. 3D views. You can, you can change the name if you want. So you can't do more than one at a time. Crop size. Make sure you say lock proportions uh, 600. 
and hit OK. 600 millimeters is about two feet. So it's because these sheets are like huge. Uh, 600. Okay, so I can take that guy. Start to get my cover page. Ready here. So as you populate the project with more stuff, your cover page will um, update. Now, the thing is, if I go in here and I actually change this view, it's going to change on the sheet. So you have to be careful with that. What you might want to do in here is lock this. Click down here and say save orientation and lock it. You want to do that on probably, if, if you do plan on leaving these on sheets, I suggest that you save and lock the 3D aspect. That way no one can click on here and shift middle mouse. You can't swivel around or do anything with it. You can't change this view. And then it's over here. And now we just want to have a look at our sections. So let's go to our section sheet, section one, drag it in, place it over there. Section two, place it over there. Now maybe we're going to do a 3D section. Watch. We're going to go back to our default 3D view. Okay. I am going to um, duplicate this view. I'm going to right click on this 3D view and say duplicate view, duplicate. And there it is there. I'm going to rename this view and call this, you know, 3D section. And hit OK. Now, oh. That was misspelled, 3D section. And back to my section sheet and um, drag, uh, oh, sorry, open the 3D section view. Right click on the view cube and say orient view to section, um, section one. You know, my section one goes all the way across here, watch. Orient this 3D view, right click on the on the view cube, right click on the view cube, orient the view to the section, section one. All of a sudden it'll do this. But watch, shift middle mouse, okay. Ah, oops, you have to be careful grabbing that. You want to grab that grip and kind of pull it out. Okay, then you can even slice and dice this any way you want okay and then what i want to do is take this box and go to my light bulb and say okay hide the category now i can't see how it's being clipped and i can do do what i want with that view and if i go back to my um, section sheet i can drag that 3d section view i just created Place it over here. Now, can I make room for this? Click on here, shift arrow key to nudge this guy over. Make a little bit of room. Nudge, nudge, nudge. Take this guy, nudge it up. Now, click on the view. You get used to doing this. Click on the view. Click on the view. Escape, escape, press and drag. Press and drag, press and drag. Now I'm doing that because I have this press and drag turned on. Otherwise you have to say move or something. So I always use the press and drag on. Otherwise you can also nudge it using your arrow key. All right, click on there. So um, a new cover sheet set up with some 3D views and a new sheet set up with our sections.